there we go. Once it's highlighted in a small rectangular, it should disappear. There you go. Uh, it is a bit finicky that way, but uh, if you know what you're doing, you can ultimately get uh, what you want. So now I've got rid of the R, I got rid of the R squared value, and I want to make it a bit prettier. I think the background needs to change to a white color. Uh, so what you have to do is you double click. Once you double click on the, I'll just start from scratch. So you get the output. You double click on the chart, and then you double click again. And you'll get a window, and it's showing that the uh, preview in the background, uh, the color, the fill, is a gray. Now I want to change that to white. So I click on Apply, and I close that. I also want to change the color of the dots, which is certainly capable of being done in SPSS. And so I double click on the dots. Again, it's a bit finicky. Sometimes you have to do it more than once. And I want to change it to this bright green color. And I click Apply. I also want to change the border slightly to make the circles a bit more pronounced, the lines. Click Apply. Now let's see what that looks like. Hmm, probably not actually that great, so I want to change it back. So I double click, double click. I put it back to the 1. I'm, I'm also going to change the color a bit. I think I want to change it to something a bit darker. Click apply. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. Of course it's subjective. Um, so you really have a lot of options to changing colors and looks. Uh, now this regression line here is a, is a dull black. And I want to change that as well. So once you click on it, again it's a bit finicky. You kind of have to... there you go. Just try to keep clicking. And I want to change this line to um, a red, this bright red here. All right. So now this is what my scatter plot looks like. I think something a little bit better. Now, these elements of your, the, uh, the titles of your y-axis and x-axis are defaulted as a bold. And if you're putting that in a report, that might not be appropriate. So you need to double click on the chart to change it. So double click again. And I can change it to a font size of 12. And I want to not make that into bold. So I've changed that. Now I want to change this one as well. 12 and not bold. OK. Now, this title here has an underscore, which is ugly. You have to include that in SPSS variables, but you do not have to include, include it in a chart. So to actually click on, to activate the title of the y-axis or the x-axis, you have to only click once and then click again. So you're not double clicking, you're single clicking, and you single click, uh, single click twice. All right, so click once to highlight it, and then click once more, and then it'll um, be in such a state that you can change it. That's how I want it. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that's getting pretty close. I want to change the size of these y and x-axis labels. So what do I do? I double click. And then I double click again. So I want to change my preferred size to 12 and apply. Now, there's a space here. There's even, uh, it's up to 20. And maybe I want to include 10 because 10 is actually the least, uh, the smallest score.